Hi everyone, we're How To Heroes and today I am making a plum guyette. Um, plums are kind of in season right now. Some of the ones I got were a little bit hard, um, but what I did was I stuck them in a brown paper bag and it helped them ripen faster. Um, so what you want to start doing is start with your dough. And I have a mixture here of cake flour and all-purpose flour and it kind of emulates what you would get out of a pastry flour which sometimes can be a little bit hard to find. Um, I like to mix in lavender. I think it goes really well with plums. So I'm using about a teaspoon and a half of dried lavender petals, which really you can find at any store that has a great selection of bulk spices. I just rub them in between my hands to kind of release some of the oils and I'm gonna mix that in with my flowers. Also in here I have a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Um, if you have a pastry cutter, it's a lot easier um, to mix your butter into the flour. But today I'm just going to use a couple of knives. So cube your butter and get it really, really cold before you use it. Um, this dough has a lot of fat content and need to work quickly. And what's really nice about this dough is I'm not super great at making pie doughs. Um, and making them look beautiful. So this is really just a freeform tart. Um, so it can look rustic and you can, you know, kind of mess up on your, your um, pie circle and people think that that's what it's supposed to look like since it's a rustic tart. Um, and you want to leave the fat in pretty big chunks for this dough. Um, a little bit bigger than pea-sized pieces, which you see a lot often in um, pie dough recipes. And then all I'm going to do is get some really cold ice water and I'm going to add, add it tablespoon by tablespoon. Um, the couple of batches I mixed up took about five to six tablespoons, but it will always depend on um, the moisture in the air. It'll depend on, you know, the, the temperature. So I just add three and start to work the dough. And already I can feel that this is going to be pretty wet right here. Um, and you don't want to overwork your dough. You just want to get it together. And then all I'm going to do is I am going to gather this dough. I'm going to saran wrap it. And I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator for about an hour or overnight. You want it really, really cold as you roll it out because, like I said, it has a high fat content. and the dough will kind of melt on you really quickly. So, I have a swap out of my chilled dough. And I just roll it right out on a piece of parchment paper. You're gonna want to flour your work surface, just lightly. And already I can feel the dough is getting a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna work quickly. Um, and you want to roll it out to about a 14 inch round. Just start from the middle and work to the outsides. You don't have to put lavender in this dough, um, but I, I just really like to use herbs in um, sweet applications. It would also be really good with thyme or rosemary. And you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. All right, so that is looking almost to 14 inches. And right here I have, for the filling, I have seven plums. Um, when I'm cutting plums, you just want to cut around and then twist and pick out the pit. And this filling, I'm going to thicken it with um, about three tablespoons of cornstarch plus some sugar. Um, and I don't want to toss that right away with everything with the sugar because when I was making it at home, the juices started to leach right away. So you want to do that right before you're about to fill your crust. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and the juice of a half a lemon. Mm -hmm. 
toss that. And then I'm going to mix my cornstarch and sugar before I mix it into the fruit. And I have one cup of sugar and three tablespoons of cornstarch. And before you preheat your oven, um, just make sure to position the oven rack on the middle of the oven so you don't get too much browning on the bottom or the top of the gaillettes. So now I'm going to toss my fruit with the sugar and the cornstarch. And you just want to mound it in the middle of your dough. And leave about a four inch border around the outside. And seven might be too many plums. Um, Six to seven, I'd say, would be sufficient. Um, you just want to have a good mound. And then all you're going to do is start to gather your dough. And then just to get um, a really nice crusty outside, I like to brush it with a little bit of egg wash, which I don't have a pastry brush, but that would be the best way to do this. It's just one egg that's been lightly beaten. So I get my hands dirty here. And this is a really juicy tart and it will leach a lot of juices in the oven, but it won't affect, um, and those will really start to caramelize around the outside, but it won't affect the taste of the, the crust or the filling. And then what I have here is really coarse sugar. Um, it's turbinado, and it's a pure cane sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle it around the outside. And then this goes into, like I said before, a 400 degree oven. Um, it's going to bake for about 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes of baking, I have one tablespoon of cubed butter that I'm just going to sprinkle on top. And this just kind of gilds the lily and gives it that final touch. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit more coarse sugar. And there you have a beautiful plum guyette.